Yo, what's up guys? It's your boy deathpro 98 gaming here and today I'm going to show you guys a tutorial on how you can start uploading YouTube videos to your YouTube channel with using an Xbox one without needing a capture card or anything to record it. All you're going to, all you're going to need is just basically the Xbox itself. Now I'm going to be showing you on how to do it with a uh, mixer. If you guys want to see on how you can do it with a uh, Twitch, or even with like on the PlayStation 4. If you guys want to know how to record on the PlayStation 4, I will love doing that for you guys as well. I won't mind doing that. So just comment down below if you want to see me show you guys on how to do it with Twitch or the PlayStation 4. So just let me know down in the comments below. But as of right now, we're doing a video with Mixer. So let's begin with this tutorial. So first you want to go to Google or whatever your browser is that you're mainly using. I'm going to go on there, type in mixer.com. Should take you there. So we'll hope it loads up and wait a little second. Come on, come on. So much stuff needing to load on the mixer website. Come on. There you go. Okay, once it fully loads up. You want to basically go over here. It's going to say sign in. I'm already signed in. And once you click on it, you just want to sign in with your Xbox account or Microsoft account, whatever account and email and like password and stuff that you use to log on to your Xbox. You just want to use that. And then once you log in, you would click here, go to manage channel. And you want to go right down here. And you should see keep recordings VODs of my streams right down there where it says VOD and stuff for you guys it's gonna show up like this possibly you want to make sure you put it on this and then press save because that's what's gonna be to like turn it on that's how you turn this on this feature on now what that does is it saves like whatever streams you do on the Xbox it saves it onto mixer so if you have that off and you have to make you have to turn that on before you start doing any streams any streams you've done before you turn that on will not be saved you have to do the streams right after you turn this on and they'll save right here under VODs as like I have one from five days ago I have it there so that's pretty much it we'll eventually go back onto the computer but for right now I'm gonna show you guys on how to start a stream and stuff like that on the Xbox so yeah we'll see you guys once we switch over to the xbox okay guys now i'm going to show you guys on how you can uh live stream with mixer on the xbox so first before you can live stream you gotta load up a game because that's the only way you can actually live stream on the xbox is by loading up a game so for example i'm gonna be loading up rainbow six siege okay and then you want to press the middle button and then you want to go over to here where it says broadcast and capture then you want to click on broadcast. Then we gotta wait for it to load. There you go. And then you know you can uh, change the title, put it to whatever you want, have it at Rainbow Six Siege. You could turn your microphone on if you want to record your Xbox mic. You can turn the chat on. Or off that's for people put it typing the chat so it pops up the chat on your screen I personally since I have a laptop and stuff next to me I like to put it the chat on off and load up mixer onto the laptop and then read the comments from the laptop so that way I don't have a bunch of comments blocking my screen while like playing a game so I just keep it on off so that way all the comments can be on the computer and I just read it off of there makes it a lot easier and then include party audio that's if you want your friends to put their audio included and then the live stream will record your friend's voice and then this is where you choose the overlay I see it says 10 minutes 10k that's shows your views and how long you've been streaming and also if you have chat on it will show the chat so you gotta pick where you want it to the corner to the top over here over there over here over here over here I personally do middle here so that way it's in the middle and I can see the views and the minutes and then I keep chat off so that's what I personally do and then that's pretty much it and then you're ready to live stream 
So we're going to be going back on the computer, but before I go back on the computer, I'm going to live stream for a couple of minutes. So that way I have a live stream to actually show an example on what you guys need to do in order to get the video and then put it to YouTube. So yeah, I'm going to live stream for a little bit and we'll see you guys on the computer after I'm done doing this live stream. Okay, so once you guys are done with the uh, live streaming stuff, you want to go back on a mixer as I am right now. You want to go back to your clicking on your profile picture, go to manage channel. And it loads up, and then you go to VODs. And as you see, it's right here. It's three minutes ago. I just live streamed. And then what you want to do is you want to press download. It's going to download, as you can see. That's for me. It's not going to take that long. So I'm going to cut to when it's done downloading and then I'll show you guys what to do now. Okay, now it's done downloading, so I'm going to go to the files area and I'm going to go to the downloads. It should be in the downloads. I'm pretty sure it is, as remembering, it's this one. Let me click on there to check. Yep, that is it. Then once that is done, I'm going to actually move that someplace else real quick. Okay, now it's in there. This is it. Wait, no, that's not it. What the hell? I think it's this one. I think I did the wrong one. Yeah, there you go. Now it's this one. Sorry about that. I did the wrong one. Should be this one. Yep, it's that one. Okay. Then after that, you then want to go to YouTube. Show YouTube. Well, for you guys, once the video is done, if you guys want to, you can actually uh, go and if you have a video editor, you guys can go and edit it in the video and then make the video after it's done edited. And this is just going to be, if you guys want to just upload straight to YouTube after you downloaded it, then this is what you can do. But once you're done like editing and stuff, you're gonna if you're gonna edit with an editor, then wanna go to YouTube, make sure you sign into your channel. Press that arrow, which is for upload. Now it's gonna say select file. I'm gonna click on videos, click on this one. It's gonna be uploading. I'm gonna put it on private. I like to put it on private because I like keeping it on private so that way it can like change the thumbnails and all that stuff. To my liking so by doing that and then press done and save the changes and it's gonna be processing okay um, I'm gonna cut to when it's gonna be done processing so that way you guys can see the actual full video so we'll be back in a sec okay we're back the video is done now I'm just gonna warn you guys don't get scared about this but when it first uploads it's gonna be only allow you pretty bad quality well Right now, since I cut it, it's now at 720p. This is the highest it can go. But most of the time, it's gonna, like, for at first, if it's a long video, it's gonna start off at, like, very crappy quality. Like, I mean, the highest quality be, would be 360p, which is just complete crap. No one's gonna wanna watch it if that's at that quality. So, it's don't worry, it's not. You didn't do anything wrong, it's just that's how YouTube is when you upload a video. When it first uploads, it's going to start off as crappy quality, then once it full on renders on YouTube, it's going to go to the quality that it's supposed to be at. So right now it's at 720p, and then I can go to full screen. I'm actually going to mute it for me. I don't think you really need audio for you guys, so. Then there's a video, it's uploaded to YouTube. 
I might be seeing bad quality right there, but that's just how Mixer is. I'm sorry I'm not going to be able to help you involve improving quality with Mixer because it's a live streaming thing and that's just how it's going to be. People are going to have to deal with the fact that you have bad quality and stuff. That's why I got a capture card so that way I don't have to deal with bad quality and stuff. But for right now, if you're starting YouTube, this is not a bad solution to recording. It's better than using your phone or a camera and recording your TV screen. It's a whole lot better compared to that. So yeah, that's pretty much all I have for this tutorial, guys. I hope you all enjoyed this video on how to uh, grab uh, your mixer streams and stuff and upload them to YouTube. So make sure to leave a like and comment down below again if you guys want to see me show you guys on how to do this with uh, Twitch if you like to use Twitch or if you want to know how to do it with uh, the PlayStation 4. I'll be welcome to... Well, love to show you guys on how to do it on the PlayStation. I won't mind doing that. So yeah, hope you all enjoy. Leave a like, subscribe, and we'll see you guys next time. Peace out. Yeah,